shifting focus across to well SP MLA is now giving uh, another justification for the chop off threat which has been given to Nupur in fact remember the Jammu cleric had said that the the head of Nupur Sharma the suspended BJP leader should be chopped off and now SP MLA MP is giving a defense and cover fire for this hate cleric let's listen in अगर ये देश के अंदर नफरत की पॉलिसी नहीं फैलाते इन्होंने सारे देश में नफरत फैला रखी है मोहब्बत तो नाम की कोई चीज है नहीं और नाजायज तरीके से हम हम लोगों पर यानी मुसलमानों पर और ओबीसी पर भी और दूसरे जो है के लोग हैं इन सब के साथ भी जातियां हो रही हैं लेकिन इन पर कभी कोई लगाम नहीं लगाई गई कभी इस पर नहीं सोचा गया कि हम किसी के मजहब को बुरा कहेंगे या किसी के मजहब के जो बानी हैं उन उनके खिलाफ कोई कार्रवाई करेंगे तो उसके मानने वालों का क्या होगा हम लेकिन हमारी गुजारिश है हमारी ये डिमांड है गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया से कि वो जी इन दो आदमियों ने जो नकुल शर्मा और और जिंदल ने जो हरकत की है जो हमारे नबी की शान में गुस्ताखी की है वो इनके खिलाफ सख्त कार्रवाई करे गिरफ्तार करके जेल भेजे मुकदमा चलवाए Well let me go across to Mohit Bhatt who's joining us another rationalization of the hate uh, Mohit which is coming in after the hate preacher yesterday gave a call to behead Nupur Sharma now you have none other than someone who is a sworn uh, parliamentarian Shafiqur Ra Bark uh, Rahman Bark of the Samajwadi party coming and rationalizing it saying that if there is kriya there is going to be pratikriya the result of that is this you cannot have double standards for the hate speech now uh, when nupur sharma made the speech she was expelled from the party the police investigation is going on even the delhi police has filed complaint against 31 individuals including nupur sharma asaduddin uwaisi navin jindal and various others now when i asked him that what exactly he has to say on the statement that are being made against nupur sharma and the protest he said that it's a reaction to the action that was done by nupur sharma it wouldn't have happened if nupur sharma wouldn't have made such comments if navin kumar jindal wouldn't have tweeted such things so as of now we see that a senior member of parliament from samajwadi party coming out and in a way justifying all the protest he did not condemn the uh, violence because uh, we know for a fact that how few cops have also been injured in the stone pelting he also did not condemn uh, condemn the statement specifically i asked him that uh, what exactly he has to say on the statement that has been gave, given by the uh, a cleric in jammu where he said that sir sanse juda uh, kar denge and uh, he said it that this wouldn't have happened if nupur sharma wouldn't have made that speech he did not condemn it he did not come out and said that such statement should not be made because you see uh, a reaction of hate speech with a hate speech is something that is not required and we have seen massive protests all throughout the country that are happening but the parliamentarians they have a duty to ensure that uh, they appeal that uh, people should not take law into their hand the protest should be peaceful protest is the democratic right but attacking police pelting stones on police is something which is very serious and you need to condemn the hate speech that is being come, uh, given by various clerics also but that is not the case with this particular spmp well absolutely there is hate speech and then there are those who are inciting this hate carefully and look at the result of what happens when you are silent on this kind of a hate instead of coming out and appealing for peace and calm to prevail in both the community unfortunately even elected uh, leaders even the political parties even members of parliament are now jumping onto the bandwagon instead of asking for calmer tempers they are now inciting people justifying calls to behead nupur sharma well this is the dangerous trend that we have seen those who call themselves secularists have actually taken up the cudgels from uh, the hate preachers such as the one that we had yesterday here on times now whom we showed who had given a call to behead nupur sharma instead of condemning him wholeheartedly you have people like shafiqur rehman bark who are coming out and justifying all of this this is why it's so very disturbing this is something that we have been looking into right now and getting you visuals from across the length and breadth of the country but what is very disturbing is that these fires have singed the streets of india be it in uttar pradesh in maharashtra uh, across in jharkhand and several others in fact 
Let's tell you what happened in Srinagar, and this is very disturbing. Watch how Sartan Se Juda slogans are yet again being chanted, this time around in Srinagar. Watch this. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. 